that I need it all. The prima donna life, the rise and fall. So I'm rocking the Kylie Cosmetics Power Plush Concealer. It's super hydrating and weightless, brightens, blurs and smooths for up to 12 hours. And can we please just take in this tapered brush? It's like the perfect application. I'm obsessed. Help me put my mind at ease, my mind at ease Feeling like I'm about to lose my mind Feeling like I'm about to lose my mind Daddy gon' get what she like, so what's your sign? Cause I like you. Got a place we can stay for the night, but I'm too shy to invite you. You got a gangsta vibe, and I want a gangsta boo. One of a dangerous kind, I'm trying to see how a gangsta move. You never worry about no exes, on my body I'm the bestest. Got to keep dancing. Who told you bad man don't dance? Who told you gangsters don't dance? Even with a whip on my hip, I dance. Bad man taking over sip and dance. Two left feet don't trip and dance. The girl want me, I might give her a chance. Give her a look, she give me a glance. She wore that tight dress just to enhance. Touch my forehead, chest, left shoulder, then right side. Pray my brothers are good outside. Should be sacred if I see you naked. We can't just say we brother and sister. How would we explain it? Brothers and sisters don't relate the way that we related. I mean, what would we talk about? LeBron highlights? Yo, mom's fried rice. What? Run on sentences? How's it represented tears? What repentance is? What? Could we have a conversation about Psalm 62? I realize there's a brand that I don't talk about nearly as much as I should that I absolutely love and that's Say Beauty. I absolutely love their cream bronzer as you guys can see blends in like a dream it's nice and glowy. They also have these blushes that build beautifully you can either get a natural finish or you can build it up to be a really full coverage blush as you guys can see once again nice and glowy finish. They also have lip products that I love they've got this lip blur which is like a matte satin finish and they've got these lip oils which are so glossy and comfortable and not sticky. I'll leave the names to all of the products and shades I use.
carved top brow, carved bottom brow, other side, middle, all over lid, forehead, bridge of nose, cupid's bow, chin, concealer on inner corner, concealer on outer corner, thrown together, and other side, concealer below jawline, cream contour on forehead, cheekbones, jawline, sides of nose, eye crease, and other side, blending from top to bottom, forehead, eyes, nose contour, under eyes, cheekbones, Cupid's bow, chin, add a little bit of your foundation, blend everywhere. Some liquid blush, blend, fill in eyebrows, set under eyes, the cheekbones, brown eyeshadow, nude eyeshadow, shadow wing, a pair of lashes, powder bronzer, blush, lip liner, lipstick, and you're done. Set my happy 
your misery. I put good dick all in my kidneys. This small job don't come with no jealousy. My illness don't come with no remedy. I am so much fun without Hennessy. They just want my love and my energy. You can't talk no shit without penalties. Bitch, I make no shit if you send for me. to go to my friend's fashion show. My friend Stephanie, she's gonna be in a fashion show tonight. I'm so excited for her. How cute is she? If someone asked me like, can you be in this fashion show? I'd be like, no. Now this might come as a shock, but I'm actually like really insecure. Like I could never do something like that. This is the third Saturday in a row that I'm going out and I'm like kind of shook. I don't go out. This big old beauty blender. <laughs> All my friends are like, what the hell has gotten into her? Like, I literally am like, no, I'm going to stay in. Fun fact, when I was younger, I like really wanted to be a model. That's literally so funny to me now because I literally take like one photo like every three months. Anyone else like that? Like, my friends will try to take pictures of me and I'm like, can you actually stop? So funny because my friend Kristen, she's like the exact opposite. I swear if she was on her deathbed, she'd be like, <coughs> can you take a picture of me? I actually really need to work on that because I do social media like girl I am struggling with the wings like they do not match I wanted to show you guys my outfit but I literally need to leave in 10 minutes all that being said I'm gonna try to get a picture tonight so wish me luck with all of that all right this is the finished look I will talk to you guys soon bye bye two different shades for my blush the color like a really and if anything we're going up not down one lash on look at this difference NYX this is an espresso and I'm just gonna focus it on the corners in the center I'm gonna use some to make my lips just a little more pink in my pout yeah I think it's gonna be this one so I'm gonna go in with the makeup by Mario barely pink this is his plumping color rare beauties um, tinted lip oil in delight I'm using one size and fantasize mascara. This is the final makeup look that I got from playing around and this is just inspired by fall. So we have berry tone, shimmer, gold, little flicks of highlight, and a warm blush. Hey y'all, get ready with me. We have to get ready pretty quickly. I wanna go out and take some pictures. The sun is like going down, or at least it's about to go down. And I don't wanna miss golden hour. So we're like rushing, really full face today. Put in that right there, right there, here, right here. On my forehead, right here. I forgot to color correct, but it's okay. Cause like I said, we're moving fast. Kinda impressed. I wanna say it takes me about an hour to do my makeup and giving like it's only gonna take 30 minutes. Oh my God, this eyelash is bothering me me got it i'm gonna put that one back on later i just blended out my concealer but i want more concealer i want a bright eye it is 4:52. we're gonna try to leave by 5 30. a little bit more contour Ooh. 
at that blend. Ooh. We're gonna take some powder now. Make a little bit. My eyebrows will forever look like cousins instead of twins. I love me a good smoky eye. I feel like this was not the smoky eye I was going for. I don't know, I don't know. Can't forget to do nose contour. I'm actually starting to like it. Okay, I kind of like it now. Just adding some pink blush. I feel like it's giving Victoria's Secret so far. Like... <laughs> I'm just gonna line my lips. Adding some gloss. I love it. Ooh. It's giving Victoria's Secret. I don't have time to do my hair or put on clothes in this video, but maybe next time. Bye, y'all. You got to get on your Zoom. Every day you got to get on your Zoom. So this is exactly what I'm doing because I did not want to do a voiceover. I did not want to do content. My mental health has been declining. I just got 50 million things going on in my life right now. We'll talk about it later. But yeah, so I'm like, let me get ready for work. And that's what we're doing. And if you're asking, yes, I finished this video. Finally, I feel like every single time I sit down to do my makeup and I'm filming a freaking video, I never finish it because literally I'm always running late. And I was not running. I was running late, actually. I was running late and I was late to work. But that's not why. I wasn't late because of my makeup. I was late because of traffic. I don't know what it was, but everything was going on where I live today, getting to, to work, even from work. So yeah but look let me tell y'all how this freaking bronzer from juvia's place and that concealer from sephora it, it it literally tested me today and it took me somewhere and i'm like god ew, am i even gonna be able to do with this i i literally strongly considered actually taking my makeup off but i was like no because Ah, uh, no, we we want to feel good. We want to look good. So we're going to get up and we're going to do this and we're going to see it through. And that's exactly what I did. And guess what? I got so many compliments today, especially on my blush. Guys, y'all going to have to let that marinate onto y'all skin before y'all blend that out. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. And then I also tried that kimchi and it was pretty good. It stayed the whole time. Y'all, so my crush finally liked my story. I've been trying to get this man attention for the longest. And guess what? He finally liked my story, y'all. Ah! <laughs> so guess what I'm doing? I'm getting ready and I'm better like, you know, try to get his attention again. I'm getting ready just so I can post on my story. Just so I can thirst trap. And before you judge me in these comments, yes, Everybody been a little delulu. Everybody been a little, you know, crazy one point at the time for a man. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. Because, girl, if y'all see this man, oh, my God, he's worth it, honey. This the type of man you wouldn't want to fumble. This the type of man you take home to your parents. This the type of man you wake up out your sleep for and you cook at 3 o'clock in the morning for. Babe, you want white or wee buns? White or wee? <laughs> <laughs> like come on now this is the type of man that you do not fumble he is a god-fearing intelligent healthy gym rat man like i'm like okay he's a little out of my league but you know what i like that though because you know what that's gonna make me work on myself and but before you say um you should be doing one to better yourself anyway not because of a man um i want to do that anyway but this is just giving me a little nudge giving me a little push ain't nothing wrong with that Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to better yourself for a man. And yes, he's my crush. So yeah, I'm going to do everything <laughs> I can to get his attention. Like, he's my motivation. Baby, I can be your motivation. And ain't nothing wrong with that, y'all. But yes, y'all, he don't got no kids. He's like 30-something. He got a nice little job. Like, yes, he's he's that. He's definitely that. And guess what I'm going to do? Become that girl so I can attract him. Let me go get my man, y'all. All right, asking y'all shall receive. So I start off with my e.l.f. Power Get Primer. Just to make sure that my makeup really sticks. And I also go in with my e.l.f. Brow Lift Gel. And I use a spoolie and I just bend it so that I can really apply it on my eyebrow. All right, and then I go in with my Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation by NYX in the shade Nutmeg. And I just apply a thin layer to my face with my foundation brush to give it a smooth look. Then I go in with my Born This Way Concealer in the shade Maple. And then I apply small dots underneath my eyes and go with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the corner of my eyes to add some brightness. And then after that, I go back with the Born This Way and add it to my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then I go with my Milk Contour Stick and I add my contour on the sides and on my forehead just to give that extra dimension. And since I'm running low, I do it with my brush instead of with the actual stick on my face. 
And then I use my Revolution Sport Fix to spray on my Beauty Blender just to make sure that concealer moves and blends very well. And since we're going for a natural look, I go back in with my concealer brush to buff it out just to make it blend a little bit better. Then I use an angled eyeshadow brush just to go in and do my nose contour because I feel like that is what works best for me. And I just blend out my concealer with a Beauty Blender. Again, I sprayed it with my setting spray. Then to give it that seamless blend, I go in with the back of my Beauty Blender and my foundation brush. Then I go in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder under my eyes just to press that into my skin with my Beauty Blender. And then I use the Juvia's Place Zulu Palette for my bronzer in a very light layer because we're going for a natural look, not overly bronzed. And then I go back in with that setting powder and put it all over my face just so we get a matte look. Spray my setting spray. And then I go in and I put just a touch of blush on, not too much. Then I go with my NYX Fat Lip Oil, and that gives me a very natural pink look. And I do, and I add a slight line of this lip liner underneath. And these lashes I use were from Mayhug. Hi guys, I'm here to give you the most easiest makeup tutorial you will ever see. Keep in mind, I was very nervous to come on here with no makeup. I'm going for the natural look today, so I just lightly fill in my brows. Next, I just outline to snatch those brows, okay? So I'm using the Lancome Stick Foundation. I'm literally obsessed. It makes your skin look skin-like, nice, glowy. Yes, that's e.l.f. concealer, ladies. It's amazing, and I just mix it with the Born This Way. Please use this as a guideline. You can literally follow everything I'm doing. Blend, blend, blend. This right here is the Juvia's Place Bronzer. I use this to warm me back up. You gotta balance the face out. Next, I use the translucent powder from Laura Mercier in the shade Honey. And this literally locks all your makeup in place. I love using one neutral shade on my lid. And then I just go in with the one size eyeliner and just add this right in my waterline. And guys, I literally do my makeup in like 15 minutes. Now we wanna add that color back into our skin. So we're just gonna use some blush, dust off that powder. Now for lips, I use the Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC and the Dior Lip Gloss in 640. Now if y'all go buying up this lip, y'all better send me about two, okay? Thank you. I overline my lips, yes, honey. And then you just wanna add your gloss. This gloss is so creamy and buttery and glossy and girly. I just love it. And no, I'm not adding lashes today. This is just more so like a natural everyday look. We're just gonna rock out with my little 10 extensions. Dust this powder off and we're coming together. Is it a baddie or no? Drench, honey, drench. Drown. Then after you try, you just want to add your little finishing touches, whatever, and you're done. Yeah, makeup in 15. Duh. Hey, my babes. So you've been wondering how I get this high arch when I'm doing my eyebrows. Let me show you what I do. First, I start by mapping my eyebrows. Now, when you're doing your first mark, you want to get that first mark to be your lowest point. And you're going to start at the side of your nose, going straight up. And we're putting our first mark here and this is going to be our lowest mark this is important because the lower mark helps you to get that higher arch when you're mapping your eyebrows when you're going to connect this first mark to your second mark which is going to be your highest mark you will get that higher illusion so our second mark we're going to be placing as our highest mark we're going to start at the side of the nose again and we're just going to pivot that pencil just like this going to the center of my eyes and I'm just gonna go all the way up to where I want that mark to be. So I could bring it down lower if I want, still being a little bit higher than that first mark. Or I can bring it high as I want, and it would be higher than the first mark either way. But it depends on how high you want your arch. You're gonna place your second mark, but it has to be higher than the first mark. So we're gonna go ahead and mark. And our last mark should be lower than the the second mark so we're just gonna go like just in the middle here like just coming from that my my front here going straight across as you can see it is higher than the first mark but lower than the second mark just like that 
and that actually gives you the illusion that your arch is higher or your eyebrows are higher let's go in and connect our dots and you will see what i'm talking about Tell me what my boyfriend told me. He was just trying to be my friend when we first met. We are at juniors and my boyfriend had the audacity to say after all of that flirting he had been doing that he was just trying to be my friend. Trust and believe after that your girl was back on defense mode. At this point I'm really not trusting his intentions anymore and I just want to leave. As much as what he was saying wasn't making sense, at the same time, I was not going to argue with him. I was at the point of my own personal growth walk where it was like, if you're just trying to be my friend and it's giving the vibe that it's more than friends, I ain't doing a situation ship. So that means we need to get back in the friends lane. I start shutting down and he asks me if after we finish eating, if we can go for a walk at a park nearby. I wasn't trying to go to no park with this man. I wanted to go home. To me, I got my answers already. What are we talking about? Don't ask me why I agree, but I said yes to going on a walk with this man. So we're walking to the park and my whole body language has changed. I am trying to create as much distance as humanly possible. We get to the park and I finally pinpoint why I'm trying to create so much space. It's because I'm hurt. I'm thinking that this guy likes me as much as I like him. He's saying he just wants to be my friend. It's either this dude is really messy or he doesn't like me in that way and that kind of sucks. It's an internal battle though because at the end of the day, I really did know that he was a good guy. Like. From all our experiences we had hanging out with one another, he had always been a good guy, so I knew his character was straight. This just really wasn't lining up with everything I knew about him so far. We're in this park and he reiterates what he said, that he was just trying to be my friend. Y'all, we end up having a seven hour conversation. He was trying to explain to me how certain things he was doing was not flirting and it was him just being friendly. I entertained this conversation for a little while, but then it gets to the point where I'm like, you know, some things are going to have to change because I want to honor what you just said. Time and some space is going to be needed so I can not like you anymore. Then he starts asking me questions like, what do you mean things are going to have to change? What are things going to look like? What, what's going to happen to our level of communication? I let him know that that meant we were not going to be having phone calls anymore. We were not going to be having FaceTime calls anymore. We were not going to be speaking consistently. We were probably just going to see each other at church, you know, say hi and bye. Of course, keep it cordial because there's no bad blood. But that's pretty much it. This man was not okay with that. He was like, so basically you're trying to make me an associate. And I was like, you know, not necessarily. Like, I I'm putting you in the friends category that you said you wanted to be in. He then proceeds to go into full-blown interrogation mode of what would us being friends look like in my definition. It's definitely not okay with what I was saying. I didn't understand why he cares so much if you're saying you just wanted to be my friend. Once I explained to him what it would look like being friends with me, he ran around the park like, you're trying to make me an associate, no! Finally, this man stops being so playful and he asked me the million dollar question of the evening that completely changed the tide of our whole conversation. He asked me what exactly was my definition of a friend? And he made me walk him through exactly what I meant and what were the stages of a relationship to me. This is the first time I tell him about my whole theory with the non-exclusive dating. And I told him how a friend means you look at me as like a sister. You just have the conversations and hang out. And then I told him that, you know, there was a non-exclusive dating stage where someone you're interested in, you guys are dating casually, but you have no real commitment to one another. You're just enjoying time together and seeing if you guys click well and if it could develop into something deeper. And then I asked him what it meant to be friends. He firmly believes that you see a pretty girl you just jump and ask her out because you don't really know her personality. So be her friend for a little bit, see how she is, 
and then it can possibly turn into something during this whole conversation y'all it had rained on us in that park it stopped it rained again like we're really invested in this conversation it's like four in the morning three or four in the morning and we're like all right it's time to go home and get some sleep keep in mind nothing has changed yet he hasn't explicitly said he liked me so i'm just like i can feel the chemistry but i am not guessing anything so I try to leave to go my own way to head home and he's like, why do you think you're riding home by yourself at 4 in the morning? Absolutely not. He makes sure I get home safely and finally we talk about us starting our dating process and starting the non-exclusive dating stage. After that night, we had started dating and it's been 8 months now, so guess he wasn't just trying to be friends. And this is my makeup for today.